What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're going to be making Ublek and then seeing if it can protect this iPad Pro 9.7 inch rose gold from a 100 foot fall. Now it's going to be very interesting because Ublek is a non-Newtonian fluid meaning it has both the properties of a solid and a liquid. When you exert high amounts of force on it, it solidifies and when there is no pressure it turns into a liquid and literally flows like a liquid. So we're going to be dropping it from 100 feet onto concrete. And when it hits, it's going to harden like crazy, which might end up shattering or bending the iPad Pro really badly. If it doesn't, and maybe it like does this mix of like maybe partially harder, hardening and partially uh, being soft, maybe it'll protect it. It's going to be very interesting to find out. This video is going to be freaking epic. Let's get started. So step one is going to be making the container to put the oobleck in. So I'm going to use a giant sheet of aluminum for this. I was thinking about using a pan of some sort, but I really want the oobleck to be able to flow well, but at the same time have enough of a shape to hold and protect the iPad. So I think this is the best, the best option out of all of the available options. And there we have it. Our oobleck pan. All right, here we go. Shit. <laughs> this thing is gooping everywhere and I'm almost up to the rim over here. It's like, I have to remember to move my fingers slowly, otherwise it's like digging through rock. Literally. Guess what you'll be holding in your lap on the way? <laughs> Not the Zublik. Oh, the Zublik. Yep, you'll be holding it. This is perfect. I think this consistency is almost just right now. Just flows right between my fingers. <laughs> so cool. If I push my fingers fast, it stops my fingers. That means it's ready to go. We're gonna take it out to the drop zone, see if it can protect this iPad or not. Do you think the iPad will survive? Post your opinion in the top right corner. Here we go. So on the way over here, we found out that there was some leakage in the pan, which is not good. Thankfully, I brought more tin foil. So we're gonna transfer just like that. Wow, that is really cool looking. Ooblik, 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 ooblik. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we really want this oobleck to be the right consistency and right now I think it's just a tad too dry. So I'm adding just a little bit of water to it. It's a delicate balance you must find between the light and the dark side. <laughs> Look at that thing melt. Oh, that's so cool. This is the perfect consistency for Ublek. Time to grab the iPad and put it in. Okay, in goes the iPad, boom. And this is the iPad Pro now. Oh, it's gonna get on all the speakers. Oh, and it's disappearing. Ah, it's disappearing inside the Ublek. Ah, <laughs> look at that, it's just swarming over top of the iPad. Oh, that looks sweet. <laughs> We're good to drop this bad boy. Here we go. I wanna give this thing a really fair chance, so I'm gonna let it kind of even out in here. All right, here it comes. Oh, ho, ho. landed right on the rocks too. Awesome. Dang, my camera's covered now in oobleck dust, which is really just cornstarch, but dang, that was a pretty fair landing. I, there's a good chance it's alive, I think. Oh man, let's go find out. <laughs> go take a look at this. Oh man, lifting it up now. Gotta do it nice and slow with this oobleck. Ah, <laughs> oobleck oozing through onto the rocks there, dang. Okay, let's take the iPad out of this oobleck here. 
No jokes about how kids in Africa could have eaten that ubre. Oh, it says cannot connect. Probably it was trying to do something. Uh, oh, oh, it's all inside the port. Oh, dang. A whole bunch of oobleck inside the ports cannot be good for an iPad. Check this out. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, it does look a little bent. Oh, let's take this. I'm going to take this off. The, the iPad itself is structurally bent for sure, but it is functional. Let's take a look at the phantom footage, just waiting for it to come in and drop. And it's a really flat impact, I'm impressed. And kadoosh! And now you'd expect with the liquid, it would just kind of explode outward like it did with the Jello video or with the uh, condom video, just kind of explosion of liquid. Whereas with this on the impact, what I'm seeing here is chunks of oobleck popping up into the sky and because the impact forces it into a solid and it just shatters apart. If you look at the iPad, it's actually bent in a very similar way to how the impact of the oobleck was. Like the oobleck came in at this angle, but one of the corners was sagging. And what that did was when, as soon as it impacted, that corner of the oobleck hardened first and the other corners didn't harden as fast and resulted in a bent iPad Pro. Well, there you have it. Oobleck can protect an iPad Pro 9.7 from a 100 foot impact, but it will probably ruin your device. <laughs> in the process. Get all kinds of gunk up in there. That's what she said. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun to make. I have never done oobleck before, so this is a first. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys had a good one. I will see you guys soon. Later. Boom. Boom.